7 Action News reporter Tom Wade has been all over this developing story, and he's got the very latest tonight from downtown Detroit. Well, this is a rolling deadline, so every 24 hours, the union can still call a strike. As for Detroit, a strike could mean big trouble here because of parts shortages. CAW workers will stay on the job, at least for now. Late tonight, the president of the Canadian Auto Workers Union announced a strike deadline extension for GM and Chrysler. The extension means that uh, we can keep on bargaining and it's basically 24 hours notice and 24 hours notice means it's a rolling 24 hours notice. Late this afternoon, Ford and the CAW reached a tentative agreement, giving hope to workers that a strike could be avoided. If workers do walk off the job, it could be a disaster for the Detroit 3 and our local plants. It ha could have potential impact on production, U.S. car production here in Michigan. Um, and really, you know, throughout the United States, to the extent that Canada services, um, you know, plants that are looking for parts to build autos. The president of the CAW is hoping to pattern the GM and Chrysler agreements after the deal with Ford. In that deal, up to 6,600 laid off Canadian workers could be rehired. Base wages remain frozen and entry level wages take a hit, but workers can still reach the peak hourly wage in 10 years versus six years now. Canada is fighting the two tier you know, wage program. They want parity uh, by the 10th year, which is not what's been negotiated in the United States. So, you know, arguably Canada is playing a game of chicken in that uh, for the first time in 30 years, the Canadian dollar's on parity with the United States dollar. And the extent that their labor starts to cost more, it could bring jobs maybe back into the U.S. The CAW represents about 21,000 workers in the Detroit 3. We'll keep you posted on any new developments in the talks. Reporting from the Riverfront, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News.